Module 2, Lesson 7, Python Classes and Objects. In this lesson, we are going to look at classes and objects. Well, you can think of classes just like templates that define an object. By this, I mean, for example, assuming you have a phone, that is an object. But its features include things like dimension, color, let us say probably the price, and maybe it performs function like making call, sending messages. So these are the features of the phone. They are defined in a class. The way you can do this, you can just write like this, class. And then in this case, I'm defining the class for a phone. That's why I'm writing class and then writes a name phone. And then inside here, you write object. Now, the first thing you want to do for this class is define what we call an init function. An init function provides you the mechanism to define the initial features of an object. Let me just write that you can be able to understand. And the first thing you write here is self. Self means that that object that you create is attached to the name self. So let us say, for example, this self right here, which refers to the object as color, let us say maybe it has length and let us say maybe it has cost. And right here, let us just write self dot color is equals to color. Let me just finish and we'll be able to understand better. This is self dot length is equals to length and then self dot cost is equals to cost. Now this concept is very simple. You will be creating an object based on this template. And now remember you can create different objects, let us say form one, form two, form three, but they depend on these features. So in order to differentiate them or rather distinguish them, that is why I'm using self dot color, which means the object that I'll define here it will take that object and define the color for that specific object. Let us just create other method. We can define maybe method like make call. And for now, what we can just do, we need to pass off inside here. We can just say print making a call. And then can also have feature like send message we pass self inside here then you can just for now print send message let us add one more method and in this case let us say def play games let us pass off inside here just use the print statement and say play games and so let me create an object down here suppose I have an object, let us call this object phone one. My first phone is this. And I want to define it. It is related to this class known as phone. Now, for me to define my object, I've defined this class right here. And now this create an object. And now I have to pass in color. Let us say it is blue. And let us say the length it is 78 centimeters. I don't know which kind of phone is 78 centimeters. Let us say maybe the cost is $100. Just one more thing. Let us add a method to print the features of this phone. Let us call it print features. And here will be self down here we'll just do print statement and the thing we'll be doing here we'll just say color 
and here we just do self dot color and then let's just copy this guy right here come down right here the next thing we want to print here is land in this case will be land the last guy we we'll want to print here is cost so this will be self dot cost and so after me creating an object right down here the way I can look for these features let me just look for one dot and this is the way you call the methods related to this object so i just call phone one dot print features like that and now you see when i run this code down here phone one dot print features it print for me color blue length 78 cost 100 what about if i do something like phone one dot play underscore games if I run this code, you see down here it prints for me play games. What about if I do something like this again? Phone one dot send message. If I run this code, see down here it prints for me sending message. Also, I can access the attribute for this phone directly by doing something like this phone one dot it has a color and so if i run this code you see it prints for me blue i can also do phone one dot there's a length i believe if i run this it prints for me 78 also i believe it has a cost dot cost if i run this code you see again it prints for me 100 so class are simply templates that are used to define what an object can contain or let me say the features and the attributes of an object so you simply define all the features and attributes of an object in this case these are simple attributes that define a phone which is color length and cost and these are some of the method or rather some of the functionality it can perform in this case make a call send message play games print features etc the only thing you required now you can create an object here and let us say it tells the color blue 78 and 100 and then perform all the features related to this phone also now i can create another phone let us say create phone 2 maybe i have another phone and i want to define its features let me just copy this guy here and come and paste here this is now phone 2 instead of phone 1 and so let us say maybe it has a color of red maybe it has a length of 100 and probably let us say it is more expensive $200 and if I run this code for phone 2 you see now this is not the same as phone 1 since it has a color of red length 100 and cost 200 you see the good thing with working with classes is that once i've created a class this second object can call these same methods which are defined in this class because this phone i believe also sends message it makes a call and also it can play games the same as phone one let us just do phone two dot mac dot mac call it prints for me making a call phone two dot send message it prints for me sending message so one last thing before we wrap up with classes is what we call inheritance and inheritance 
let me just write here inheritance and think of inheritance like the father son relationship there are some things that as a son you inherit from a father but now unlike this concept in programming inheritance the son inherits everything from the father in this case let us say i've created the class phone and i have defined some features and some of the methods in this class but now i want to define a very specific type of class in this case i'll define what we call class iphone now if you think of it iphone inherit everything from a phone but also it has its specific methods and features that any other phone cannot have what do i mean for example all phones have color have dimension have width they have a cost but iphone specifically let us say it has security measures it has mechanism to treat cancer in your body so these features are specific to iphone and so in this case i'll just say this is the way you write if a class inherits from another class and in this case iphone inherits from phone and now what i can simply do instead of recycling my code of writing what a phone contains i can only add one method here for iphone which is treat treat cancer and now the same as the class for phone i'll just pass in here self and then for now I'll just print iphone as mechanism to treat cancer so let me just create an object down here so that we can see how this works if i create an object let us say iphone one and i say something like equals to iphone and now interestingly even though iphone does not have uh, this initialized or rather this method defined in object i can pass here the color for this iphone which is let us say gray the dimension i can pass 67 and the cost i can pass 400 and if i come down here i say iphone one dot if i print something like make or rather if i cause a method like make call if i run this code you see down here it prints making a call even though this function is not defined in this class of iphone which means that this class iphone has inherited everything from the class known as phone and again if i do something like iphone dot color if i run this code you see down here it prints gray again i can do something like iphone one dot treat cancer and if i run this code down here it prints for me iphone as mechanism to treat cancer this is what you can define inheritance inheritance is simply whereby another class inherits all the feature from another class